is how it goes, Sell. And now that Monday Night Football is no longer a reality for this reporter, I've decided to cover some fairly ingenious and interesting sporting events. The first of which we come to you live from Niles North High School. So we're talking to Mr. Vic Mule, who is the head of the. It's a Muell. Muell. Vic Muell. I'm sorry. He's Mr. Vic Muell, and he's the commissioner of the DBA, the Donkey Basketball Association. Mr. Muell, could you tell? Muell. Pardon me? Muell. Muell. Mr. Muell. M-E-W-E-L-L. Muell. All right. <laughs> My mistake. It's understandable, though. Right. So here we are. What do you think about this sport so far? Is this the sport of the 90s or what? I think uh, we're well into the 90s with this sport as far as technological advances and uh, a few other things. How many franchises do you have so far? Well, so far we're into Des Moines and Waterloo for sure, starting what? in 86. What about the allegations of recruitment violations that we've heard so much about in the newspapers? Uh, most of that stuff is unfounded and most of these animals are pure hybrids and they're not uh, uh, from any other kind of source or technological thing, you know what I mean? Some of these mules seem to be uh, fairly young, whereas uh, other ones are a little bit uh, long in the tooth. Well, a lot of them were in the Negro Leagues uh, for many years. Negro mules? Yes. People are accepted for what they are, and uh, most of these donkeys are uh, equal. I saw you cheering on the sidelines during that first game. I you get involved. I get involved. I can't, uh, I can't deny it. Sometimes I, I go out to these people, and I see these young guys coming up, you know, and I think, hey, if it weren't for the, but for the grace of God, there would be me. All right, thank you, Mr. Mule. Rob Petries, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be doing play-by-play -play with Howard in this second exciting contest of donkey basketball. Pleasure to join you here from the it's Niles North Gymnasium. I, I wonder if we could get one of the mules over here to talk to us. There he is. He should be over here shortly. Every picture tells a story, don't it? Now, I understand that you were recruited out of Utah State. No, Howard, it's New Mexico. That's uh, I stand corrected. It was it was New Mexico. <laughs> you caught me in that one. Now, how many points do you think you're going to score in the second game? Well, I tore my Achilles tendon, so maybe 15 points tops. Uh, some have called you a dirty player. How do you respond to those allegations? Oh, su madre es un grande. Why, this, uh, this is uh, family television. We're going to have to ask you not to repeat those words anymore. Well... That's about it in between the games here. Donkey basketball is uh, apparently thriving here in the northwest suburbs or wherever we are. <laughs> I've been awake for about 48 hours. <laughs> so until the play-by-play -play in the second contest, this is how it goes. Sell live from Niles North Gymnasium where donkey basketball has arrived.